first up today, getting the family pumped up for a new football season. Every year, the Green Bay Packers host a big family night scrimmage. It is the true opening of training camp for many fans and new players, and it's a chance to experience the NFL at Lambeau Field. Fun! This year it's happening Saturday, August 4th, and here with a look at the night and what to expect this season is Wayne Larrabee. He is the radio play-by-play -play voice of the Green Bay Packers on the Packers Radio Network, and we're happy to have you back here Good to be couch. here again. Hey, Wayne. Yeah. How's it going? It's my second trip. A long time. Yeah. You were only my second trip to the uh, yellow couch. Is that here? what you call it? Yes. Yeah. So feels good, though, doesn't it? it? Oh, it feels great. Yeah. Feels great. Absolutely. Yeah. Great to you see know. You. What you nice to know you're not going to be taking care of me, though. Is that, <laughs> you know what I mean? Really? <laughs> It, I'm not way, saying I, I wouldn't would marry wait. me again either. <laughs> you know, I got away you. with one there. <laughs> I'm all in on the taking care of for now, but when I'm 70, I may change my mind like they did. Yeah, I don't know. Probably. You yeah. probably will, knowing you. <laughs> I think a lot of people feel confident yeah. about that. Okay, so what are you up to now as you get ready for another yeah. big football season? What are you up to? You know, the last month I've been putting together all the information, all of my uh, boards, my uh, uh, spotting boards and that type of thing, basically putting information on all the teams the Packers are going to play this season. And it gives me a view of the league, and I get a real feel for going into training camp how this whole thing might stack up. So it's interesting. Yeah. What do you think? What are you thinking this year? Well, I think the Minnesota Vikings are a pretty good football team, really. I, I do. Yeah. I, I think the uh, Bears are one of the uh, more improved teams in the, the NFC. And I think the Lions are the most underrated team and least talked about team in the NFC North. Uh, they've got some players. Okay. okay. You're a good sport. I always, when I see you in the building, I'm always like, what's up, trader? <laughs> <laughs> he is a good sport about but, it. But, but you're dating yourself. If you remember me as, as uh, the play-by-play -play guy for the Bears, you're dating yourself because that was a long time ago. <laughs> And I'm totally fine with that. I used to love listening to you when you were the voice of the Chicago Bears. Not um, so much anymore, right? <laughs> still, still like listening to you. And I'm a fan of the Packers. I mean, uh -huh. I've been living here for as long as I have. But it is it was hard, especially when you made the trip. So you've got Bears and Vikings over here. Where, where's the Lions? See, right. I told I you, the most <laughs> underrated team in the NFC North. Underrepresented, <laughs> at least. That's right. It's um, true. But let's talk about the Packers. Sure. Yeah. Um, first of all, the impact you think Jimmy Graham might have as a tight end. I, I think this, you know, he kind of replaces the production that Jordy Nelson would have had. And, you know, they're going to play Jimmy Graham in the slot. He's not a traditional tight end in the line blocking people. They don't want him to do that. They want him out there catching passes. I think the Packers will use him more in the middle of the field. And this should loosen things up for guys like Randall Cobb mm. uh, and Devontae Adams. Well, and on Jordy, I think fans are going to miss him. Do you think the the team will also? Oh, yeah. Okay. And then, you know, you miss a player like Jordy Nelson, not just for what he does on the field, but for what he means to the locker room off the field. Mm -hmm. We've seen Aaron Rodgers be all gushy-mushy over his relationship on social media. Is this going to distract him this season? <laughs> his relationship with? Uh, with um, Danica, Danica Patrick. Patrick. Uh, no. No. Okay. In a word, no. no knowing okay. A-Rod as I do, <laughs> he is not going to be distracted by that. Uh, okay. I, I think it'll be a plus for him. To be honest with you, I think it'll be a plus. Okay. What about his contract? He's still kind of working on some of that. Will yeah, we see you know, and, and we're, we're all kind of hopeful that this thing will be done by training camp. Don't know if it will or not. I uh, haven't heard word one on it, and usually that's a good sign. Okay. So I think that what they want to try to do is bring it to a culmination at the start of training camp. That would be a great way to go in with Aaron okay. Rodgers tied up for long term. I think so, too. I think it gives everybody a sense of peace that maybe mm -hmm. they can just move forward and exactly. win, win football games. Family night. What mm -hmm. do you think makes this so special? This year it's happening on Saturday, August 4th. And we're going to be televising it right here yeah. on this uh, very television station. Um, it, it's, it's a lot of fun because, you know, um, Molly, fans and families who don't have season tickets and don't really get to go to the regular season games or even the preseason games get to go to family night. And if I was a fan and, and I was going to go to one practice, the whole training camp, this would be when I'd want to go. Yeah. Lambeau Good. Field on a Saturday night, it, it's just a lot of fun. And it's great to see all the kids out and people who don't get to experience Lambeau Field. Mm -hmm. Well, it's cool. And then there's fireworks afterward. Oh, yeah. There's all this fun stuff planned. I think it's pretty cool. 20 years you've been in the booth now. What keeps you motivated? What keeps you wanting to do the, this job? I'm still trying to do it right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get it right. I'm a slow learner. You know, it takes time. No, I, I enjoy it. I, I enjoy the, the challenge of it, you know, of trying to paint a picture. The 
people can understand when they don't have a picture in front of them, they can understand what's going on in the field. And, um, you know, the Packers are always a passion of mine, yeah. so they still are. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's been fun. What's the number one thing people say to you when they meet you or ask you? Oh, my gosh. Number one thing? Yeah. Say, are you that guy? Do they? Because for us, yeah. they ask us what time we get up and if we're really that close of friends. Yeah. So I didn't know if like it, what they well, ask you. don't you. like each other, right? Right. right. <laughs> don't clearly. Don't tell people. Wait. No. Uh, no, but I think uh, what I would say to you is I bet a lot of people know your voice. Yeah. To put a face with the voice mm -hmm. I think is really fascinating. We were people. skiing out in Utah this winter and we're in a lift line and I'm talking to my sisters who were happen to be with me, skiing with me, and all of a sudden a guy turns around and says, you're Wayne Lira. <laughs> And of course, I've got this big helmet on, goggles, and yeah. no way you could tell, you know, except that they heard my voice. Your voice. Yeah. Identifiable. Yeah. You got a great voice. Yeah. I loved it for the Chicago Bears, but I know it's a dream for you come true to sure. work with the Packers. So good We'd remarry you. you. Thank yes. you. Yeah. No, yeah. you wouldn't. <laughs> Boy, you're so untruthful on television. You know what? My God. Oh, Wayne, thank you so much. Pleasure to be here. Hey, thank you so much for sharing this with us to give away to callers number 10 and 11. We are giving away a family four-pack of tickets to the Packers Family Night That Scrimmage Game on Saturday, August 4th. And get this, it includes fireworks passes, too, which is awesome. And so some food. Sure to, and some food, too. So call us now at 414-799-4444. After the scrimmage, um, you see those fireworks. And don't forget that today's TMJ4 is super excited to be broadcasting live from Lambeau Field so you can see it here, all the action on today's TMJ4. So great. Thanks, Always a blast to see you. Yeah. Great to be with you guys. Thank you so Thank much. You. And congratulations, Tiffany. Thank you.